Okay, so it's been a while, but I'm glad to be back. So we're going to do Java once again. Um, as of now, we haven't hit the peak, but we're still learning the fundamentals about Java. After this, I hope to talk about a couple other things, including arrays, loops, switch statements. But today, it's going to be about balloon, balloons. Um, then things get interesting with um, methods. So this video is just about booleans until then. So as simple as it is, booleans in Java are pretty much similar to Python. So if you know about booleans in Python, they function the same way. So they have two values, either true or false. However, this isn't always the case because there may be a light switch. Um, there's two possible combinations of the status of the light switch. The light switch can either be on or it can be off. This is another example of a boolean because there's two different types. The light switch on is typically true and then the light switch off is typically false. That's how Java reads it. So now let's go into our code editor. So here we are inside. Um, I just made a file called boolean.java. I just like to name my files whatever, um, whatever the code's about, which you should be doing. It's good to do that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set up our syntax. Um, So first we need our class. The class, um, just for a review and a refresher, the class is just the name of your um, file. Let me add, uh, let me quickly fix this real quick. Here we go. Let me quickly do that. Let's try that again. There we go, okay. I'll just add it manually. Oh, whoops. There we go, okay. There we go. So, with that being said, the next thing we need to do is, so this is, once again, this is just the name of your file. My file name is Boolean, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. After that, the next thing you need to do is, you need to do public static void. This is essentially your main line. This is where all your code is gonna go inside. So, there we go. So, there we have it. This right here is our, this is where we're gonna put all the code inside. That's what main does. Um, as of now, our keyword is gonna be void. Um, we're not gonna change this until we go to methods. Um, as of now, just keep it at void. Void just means that there's no return value. And then public just means it's, it can be accessed anywhere. So after that, the next thing we need to do is we need to do a Boolean. We are going to declare a Boolean. If you don't declare a Boolean, then it's obviously not going to give you the expected outcome. In a Boolean, the expected outcome is always two things, true or false. If we don't add a Boolean, then we're, we're probably going to get an error because um, the Java won't know what we're talking about. The program won't know what we're trying to declare. So that's why we're gonna get an error if we don't include Boolean. After that, we then need the name of the Boolean. You already see that we have an error because we don't we don't have a name for the Boolean. So let's go ahead and put a name for it. Or let's do a statement. The name for my Boolean is going to be a statement. Let's, let's just go ahead and do that. And then let's do that. And then let's make it equivalent to a value. We need a value for this. So right here, just for review, this is a Boolean. This is declaring that we're trying to do a Boolean. This is the name of the Boolean. And then after that, the next thing we need to do is we need a value for this Boolean. In my case, I'm gonna make it false. The reason why I'm making it false is because I don't like icing. And I made a statement, it's called icing tastes good. Um, We may, it's called icing tastes good, that's the statement. However, um, this might be, um, a lot of people might argue with me, but I honestly don't like icing, so that's why I'm gonna go ahead and put false, because that statement isn't true, because I don't, I don't think icing tastes good. And then after that, we, can, we just have to print out the name of our Boolean. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. We should be good to go now. 
So hopefully that should make some sense. Um, if, if you don't understand it, be sure to leave comments down below. I'm always very prompt and I will respond as soon as I get a question in the comments. So first things first, um, just to recap, here this is a boolean, we're declaring that we're trying to do a boolean. Next we have our statement, or our name of the boolean. In my case, my statement is icing tastes good. And then I said I put false because for me I don't like icing. And if I don't like it, I'm most likely going to put false because the statement isn't true. And then after that, we're just printing the name of the um, the name of the boolean. So then, what we get here is let's go ahead and save it again, and then let's go to. Let me just right click on the file, and let's run it. And then you see down here, um, you're gonna get false because um, you're essentially printing this, and you're getting false. Hopefully that should make some sense, but yeah, that's pretty much how that is. Another way you can represent booleans is to do something called statements. So to do a statement, it's not hard. So all you just have to do is you have to make a statement. So the statement would be like, let's make X 15 and then let's make Y 8. After that, the next thing we can do is we can do system.out.println. Keep in mind, you're only going to use system.out.println when you're doing a void because void, void doesn't have a return value. Um, if Once you start learning into methods, you'll um, start putting return values instead of system.out.println. This is only for void because in void there's no return value. So let's go ahead and change this. Um, let's say x is greater than y. And then let's see what we're going to get. Okay, we shouldn't be getting any errors, which is good. So let's go ahead and run it. And there we go, we got true. And the reason why it's true is because x is greater than y. x is 15, y is 8. 15 is obviously greater than 8. So we're going to get true from the computer. Or from the program, I guess I could say, to be more precise. Um, to make it shorter, um, all you can simply do is you don't have to do that um, if you want to save some time all you can just do is you can just say system print ln 10 is greater than 9 or you can just say let's use the same numbers we did last time 15 is greater than 8 okay no errors that's good let's run it and we're gonna get true so both of them work the same way. This is just a lot easier if you don't like typing too much. But yeah, that is pretty much how that works. Um, keep in mind, if you have questions, please don't be afraid to ask. Um, I'll reply as soon as possible. But that's pretty much how that works. Another thing you can do is you can simply just, let's make an integer. Oh, whoops. We can just simply make an integer. Let's make it int x equal 11. After that, all we can just do is we can just do, let's say x is equal to 11. We're using the double equal operator. And then what we're gonna get from here is, um, we're gonna get true because we're saying x is 11 and then we're saying is x equal to 11? And yes it is, so we're gonna get true. So those are the two different ways you can use booleans in Java. Those are the two simplistic ways you can use booleans in Java. You can also use um, booleans in several different ways. So you can you can use all different operators. You can do all different stuff. I just gave a couple examples because I didn't want to drag the video too long. But that is pretty much how booleans work. You can do them in two ways. You can do one through you can do one through like a statement, and then you can do it through. Um, like you can do statement where like one number is bigger than another, or you can just do it in a way where um, you you have like a name for your boolean and then you decide whether it's true or false and then that will print out the result accordingly. So those are the two ways to do booleans and that's pretty much it for this video. Once again, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I'm happy to answer anything. Um, if you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the subscribe button for and another upcoming video should be out. I have a bunch piled in a folder. So hopefully they should roll out quick. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.